Once upon a time in the life of Amir Syed. Go, go, go! Hey, Mom, I need more chips. Dinner's ready. Can you come bring it to me? No, get off your lazy butt and come get it. Mom! That's it. Get out of the house. I'm kicking you out. And so Amir became a hobo. Man, my life sucks now. I got kicked out of my house. Man, where the hell did I go wrong? Man, well, man, what could I have done to stop this from happening, man? Eh, but who cares? I still have my games. Ah! 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 What? This is our bush. What are you talking about? We went homeless because we didn't take care of our finances. What? What? Man, that ain't me, dog. <laughs> By the end of today, you're gonna get haunted by three financial ghosts. Okay. Little did Amir know that what the hobos told him was actually the truth. This is like a nice place to live from now on. Strike sound again. It's like right after I graduated high school. Yes. You just got accepted into the University of Houston Honors College. Do you see what you did wrong? You didn't manage your expenses efficiently enough. Saving your receipts would have saved you time as they are a record of your spending. You spent too much money on uh, unnecessary expenses such as gaming and partying when you could have focused on other expenses such as your tuition fees and uh, housing fees. You, s you should have spent uh, more money on gas and food which are very low expenses that can vary in price. Creating a budget sheet would have saved you time and money because uh, it helps you manage your expenses, see what you have spent and how much money you would have had left. You will be visited by the second ghost soon. Our work here is done. Dang, I need a place to live, man. So I hear you don't have a place to stay. Yeah, I don't. We offer our standard suite at $200 per month. Well, nah, I can't do that one. Alright, you want something more expensive? How about the luxury suite? That's, that's still not me. Alright, how about the top room we own? The throne room? Oh, wow, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not feeling that one. Alright. If you don't want a room, then we can offer you the game lounge. I want that one, but I, I I can't afford any of these. All right, then I have the perfect. Hold on, hold on. What's that? What's that? How much does that cost? You, you can't afford that. Dang. So what do you got for me? I have the perfect room for you. Right here, storage room, fifteen cents per day. All right, all right. All right, deal. All right, cool. Who are you? I'm the ghost of home ownership. There's something I have to show you. Take a look here. It's your college friend Subash. He's the current homeowner. There's a lot of advantages and disadvantages for owning a home. The pros. You can build equity. There's a lot of tax breaks. Housing payments can be fixed and stable. You can settle in a community and raise a family. 
And last, you have the freedom to decorate and paint all you want. The cons are, number one, you have to pay for your own maintenance. Number two, your home is a liquid asset and it's hard to sell. Third, you have property tax. Fourth, your home could lose value. And fifth, you have a possible mandatory mortgage. So you're thinking about renting a home? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of advantages and disadvantages too. The pros are, you don't have to do maintenance yourself. It's easier to move if you're buying a new home. You avoid depreciating assets. The cons are, monthly payments can increase, you don't build equity, you don't receive tax benefits, and you can't remodel or repaint without permission from the landlord. So what you're saying is buying a house is better? No, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. I know you can't afford rent for two people. Get out of here. Wait, wait, where'd the ghost go? Ah, oh well, I guess I better get out of here. Man, how am I gonna pay rent for my apartment? It's 15 cents a day, man. I can't afford it. Huh, what's this? Lottery. I want to say the 22nd. Holy, that's today. Let's see, the lottery numbers are 73, okay. 40, 2, 5, and 29. Oh my god, I won the lottery. Man, I don't need to play rent for an apartment anymore. The second ghost has to buy a house, so I'll give myself a million dollar car and a $10 million house. Sorry, let's go. I'm gonna get all the babes, man. Let's go. And so our friend attempts to live lavishly. Man, life is good. You swear? Whoa, whoa, who are you? I'm the ghost of credit cards, Amir. I'll teach you about credit cards. What are you gonna show me? Come with me. Okay. <laughs> you see, Amir, credit is a powerful force in any country's economy and can affect any major buying decision. There are two types of credits, bad credit and good credit. Good credit is very important for you. But in order to have good credit, you must have credit in the first place. So to earn good credit, you must borrow money and pay it back on time. But on the other hand, there's also bad credit, when, which happens when a person does not pay back their money on time. But with responsible credit usage and prompt payments, bad credit can turn into good credit. There are also some do's and don'ts of credit card usages. You shouldn't excessively use your credit cards. You also shouldn't make a habit of making minimum only payments. But here's some do's of credit card usage. You should make smart decisions about things you need versus things you want. You should stay within 30% of the credit limit and you should also negotiate a lower credit limit. But why, credit why, interest, sorry. why are you telling me this? I won the lottery. This is what I'm telling you. Here lies Amr Sayed. But what happened? Well, your debt piled up too much and you had to sell your organs. And you sold so much that you died. Well, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter. I lived a good life. Everyone dies, so, you know. Oh! <sighs> R.I.P. to me. Peace. And it was at that moment Amir finally realized his mistakes and decided that he needed to make a change in his life. So he approached his college buddy, Subash, who gave him advice on budgeting, credit cards, and home ownership. Finally, Amir could live happily ever after. Okay, so do you get what to do now? Uh, yeah, what do I do with the balances again? Right, okay, so your balances go on the right hand side of the page, and this is how you create a budget sheet. And the the expenses go on the left. Okay. Right. And you, do you plan on owning a home soon? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe. Well, do you plan on staying long? Maybe. Okay, then you might want a house. But if you don't plan on staying long, you might want to do an apartment. All right. All right. Cool. Nice working with you, man. Good luck. And if you ever need me, just call me. Okay.